This is Alan T. Triff, and welcome back to that crazy thing we call Crusader of Cincy. Well, we're going to continue our adventure now that we can do the running jump. We can also go back and do the final obstacle course, though there's not much point, seeing as even if we have the medallions, we can't talk to the king. Okay, we're just going to hop over this little shrub here, and boom, slime. Yeah, no way around that. We are now slime, and all our animals are gone, so that speed I've just talked about enjoying, gone. Let's see, the gnome with the pointy hat. I know he's a wizard, I'm just making fun of his height. I admit, I'm sizes. Not really. Anyway. We have this very suspicious star shaped field we'll be getting back to. This, which always kind of struck me as like a head with two arms. And a clearing with a bunch of slimes. Named Gooey, Sticky, and Tacky, Pasty. Okay. And I am Slimy, so... Obviously Mother Slime, the big blue one, didn't spend much time naming. Let's talk with our brothers. And yes, yeah, so heroes are dangerous to slimes. Though I gotta wonder... This is pretty far from the opening castle. Does Amon really have nothing better to do than grind on slimes? Ugh. Well, yes, yeah, it's the slime's mother. She can tell right off the bat that you are not her son. So, and oh, that stupid little gnome. He's the one who dealt. He's with the eyeballs in the bushes, so let's go have a chat with him. But, oh no! Hero is still here. Friggin' Anon. Amon. Whatever the hell. I don't care his name is, he's a jerk. Killing innocent slimes, making moss slimes cry. Okay. Oddly enough, if you say no, she's not sad. He's like, oh, okay, fine. You're screwed. Stay as a slime. A jerk. I get what he was trying to help slimey, but really does not care about you. Just, oh, you're just unlucky. You don't mind being a slime for the rest of your life, do you? Well, actually, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he couldn't help us, though. Dialogue was a little unclear on that. He just, he doesn't know how to. And there's Aemon again. But he's just not sticking his sword friggin' into the trunk. Okay, well, Moss Slime says, oh, it's a go. Little gnome wizard can't help you. You gotta go ask the witch who taught him. So, after one more run away with... Oh! From Eamon? Best to get him caught on these trees. Oh, dang, I missed. Okay, come on. Come on, you bat. Yeah, stay there. Uh, no, I better go this way. Because, yeah, jumping on this thing ten times with him chasing you is a pain in the butt. Okay, you're, doing the, you're on the right spot because the thing will start changing uh, color. Um... There you go. Follow the poof. And it should bring us right to the witch's house. Okay, witch's house. She just looks at you and knows that you're not, again, that you're not slimy, that you're a human, and she knows that her stupid apprentice changed you. Again, you can say no, but you can't progress in the game as a slime. So, we gotta do a little test. We have to help her with the spell she's working on. Really, I, I don't get why she calls this a spell. This is a puzzle I'm sure you, you, everyone has seen a million times. You figured it out yet? The chicken eats the caterpillar. The caterpillar eats the flower. You can't do one or the other at the same time. You gotta get all three across. I'm always familiar with like the sheep and the wolves on one side of a river. You have to get all them all across. Professor Layton puzzle is, at least that's where I first played it. This one's just really touchy though, you gotta do just the right piece first. Okay, finally, done with this experiment. I'm not really sure why they call this an experiment. I really hate this experiment. I'll never do an experiment like this again. As a flower, I really don't see how you're gonna fight that, but yeah, good luck to you. Smash this date! And poof, human again. Oh, and we get a bonus. Free caterpillar. 
He's so impressed with our deductive reasoning that he's going to join us. Unfortunately, as you'll see from his description, he doesn't do anything. Huh. Well, one thing to note, though, is that you throw your sword, he merges with it. Yeah, you can probably guess he's going to become a butterfly later and turn into something useful. For now, though, he really is useless. Okay, he's relieved, but he hates anyone who swings his sword. So, yeah. You better be lucky I'm a lot more merciful than Eamon. You, know, you think about that. If I'd been just a minute later, Eamon could have been the slime. But I could have gone on, and Slimey could have had a happy relationship with the human he fell in love with. <sighs> Fate is cruel. So, we can have one last word with Slimey. He's grateful for being able to tell the girl his feelings. But after all, slimes are slimes, and humans are humans. And we have a mission to get back to. So, onward to the desert. Camellia Desert. Now, this desert has a lot of stuff to pick up. A lot of money, and I think a few golden hearts, for, you know, if you're willing to put the time into looking for them. A lot of these little switches here are fused, like blocks fused together. Take out whole sections of desert wall. Uh, best to have the penguin on. Penguins, uh, the ice magic will do double damage, especially with the cactuses. Uh, cactuses, the sandworms, and the very Zelda-esque enemies that kind of run under the ground and pop their heads up. Okay, another one of those. Okay. Again, cactuses drop coins. Bags drop a lot of coins. And these guys are dicks. Okay, Ooh, we'll make sure we get all the delicious treasure. Not to date this, but um, speaking of gold, I saw the uh, preview for the new uh, DuckTales looks like it's coming out. I gotta say, it looks pretty interesting. I grew up on DuckTales and Darkwing Duck and all those great Disney time cartoons. I'd love to see him go back to that. Let's see. Second part of the desert. Honestly, though, this is kind of the most boring part of the game for me. It's just so much... It's, it's desert. It's Even attempts like this to liven it up with a field of holes, which are really annoying. Trap you, like, you fall in and you gotta jump back out. Oh well. It's a pretty simple puzzle. There's a few more of these too. We just got to push the fuse in there. But it can be confusing. Because if you've done the second training course, or it might be the third one, uh, you'll see a puzzle where you have to link a bunch of blue blocks to create like a fuse. By putting the red block on the very end. Well, that doesn't work here. So if you try, all you end up with is a. Uh, you gotta go back in and out just to get the blocks to respawn. Maybe I'm wrong with that. Maybe I, the way I did it back when I was a kid, I just did it wrong and it didn't work as a fuse. I don't know. <coughs> okay, before we do this, we need to run over here. I think there's more treasure to be had. More treasure is always good. It's hard to explain maneuvering through these little sand dune whirlpool things without actually having experienced it. It's very rubber bandy. Okay, fuel the spikes, which I quite frankly can't be arsed with at the moment. Fortunately, the golden apple will always fill up your health, so that's good. This should bring us right back to where we started. Good. Good. No. Go back through the little holes and to this little spot right here. Just get here. I'll jump over here and... Okay, I should have had the squirrel equipped. I could, I could, yeah, okay. That takes care of that wall. Okay, we're going to have the eggs. We have an AP 
T T E. Apt. Apt. I know in the American version that it actually spells out Atlas, so I'm guessing this has something to do with the production company. Guess you can say it's apt. No, no, no. Money! Okay, getting close to the end of the desert now. This is the last uh, screen. Okay, we got a fuse puzzle here. You can do it pretty much either way. Either push that red one all the way next to that spot to clear it off, or alternatively, just take the other path. In fact, I think I've screwed it up, so let's go ahead and go this way. Pretty telltale path of where this goes. But it does imply somebody's moved it there fairly recently. Probably that douchebag Eamon. Seriously, Eamon, what the hell? Picking on little slimes, making a slime bomb cry. What a dick. Okay. Let's clear this area off. Any luck? I might need a little more money over here. Okay, oh, I do need the squirrel now. Let's see. Pop one here. And boom. And spikes. Okay, another treasure. There's a wall, though. Surrounding a settlement that has nothing there at the moment. An abandoned settlement. Still, wouldn't be thorough if I didn't at least give you a look at it. This is something we'll be coming back to a bit later. For now, though, it's basically just an empty town. I always thought they could have put something here. I mean... The next visit, you have to explain why there's nothing here. But at the same time... You're not that far off from another settlement. There's a small oasis. Well, it's a settlement of monsters. Or a settlement of animals, I should say. It's kind of strange they don't have like a little village here or something. I don't know. Maybe it got cut for time. In any case, a bunch of empty buildings. Ruins of sorts. And this tablet looking thing here, which doesn't do anything. The adventure gaming sensibilities of my young self. Anyone who's played King's Quest understands. If you see something that looks out of place, you're gonna poke at it and try to pick it up. If you can't pick it up, you try to use everything against it. Okay, well, we got just this uh, other settlement now, which I believe is over here. A little oasis with a taper. Taper the taper. And a sea monster living in the water. You know, there's health implications now that I think about them. Oh well. Uh, let's see, another unfortunately named uh, skunk. Talking about the Tower of Babel that was being built, but it was mysteriously left unfinished. It goes back to the whole uh, them not being able to talk to each other thing. And is our next destination, actually, so we'll be seeing what's going on over there in just a minute. Uh, another one of these places. Like I said, this is all the monsters you can get. Just to reiterate, the bat flies around you and creates a shield. The egg explodes and kills everything off screen. And the cat acts like a fairy from Zelda. When you get killed, it heals you up. None of which are really worth the cost. I want to say the bat and the cat are 50 and the egg is 100. As you see, I've only got 300, and I'd say I'm roughly close to the halfway point in the game. At least a third. At least a third of the way. Oh, well, we've done everything we can do here, so... Moving on to the Tower of Babel. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop in. Uh... Yeah, there's an express elevator in a longer way. We'll use the express elevator for now. But, there's a boss at the top. Yeah, I still can't talk to anyone. Okay. The boss here at the top, but we will deal with that next time.